Those vegan guys. I thank you. Ah, yeah. We just had to be really rude to Polly to make her work. She kept saying, please wait. We ate that. Polly's our Panasonic. We don't right. wait. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are those vegan, vegan guys. guys. And this is Plot 25, our allotment adventures. It's going to be another bit of a weird day today because um, we'll take you in the shed in a minute. Show you something special. Hopefully, we're going to have a brew today. We'll tell you about that in there. It's not hopefully. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> My niece, Rachel, is allegedly on her way down here with a gift for us. We have no idea what it is. Uh, because I was looking at um, bedding boxes the other day and like, you know, and we know that I, uh, one of our subscribers, Alan, has offered to help with... Um, uh, raised beds. Uh, uh, the What they called the... Uh, the side parts of your beds. Yeah, no, what the, th the, the material he was going to use. Scaff... Scaffolding boards. Yes. Scaff boards. However, my niece Rachel is a woodworker. Oh, she's multi-skilled. Oh. <laughs> and I looked on her, I messaged her the other day and said, are you still doing woodwork, you? Then looked on her profile page on Facebook. She's all this fancy garden stuff she's making now. So she's going to come down, measure a couple of beds and give us a quote for some, um, you know, raised beds made with, like, decking. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're going to try and clean the greenhouse, but then... We're going on a little adventure. One of you lovely people. I'm sorry names don't stick in my head. I'm really sorry. It's difficult. It's be, we get, look at our comments. We get hundreds and hundreds of comments. But one of you, so whoever you are, thank you so much, said, have you been down to Hume Community Garden Centre? And I was like, no. Why is it worth it? I had a look online this morning. It's amazing. Is it? So we're going to go down there, we're going to see what we can get, we're going to get some... See to a sick chicken now. Dorothy, she's, she interrupts the whole time, she's right rude. She's got to go and see to a sick chicken now. <laughs> she's our neighbour, uh, on next door allotment. Um, folk are right friendly down here, aren't yeah. they, and, you know, full of advice. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we're going to head oh, head down there after. We, we have made some decisions about some things. <clears throat> so this little plot of soil, big square pot of soil here at the side of the greenhouse, some of you will remember it, we'll show you it again. That's our wildflower bed. So we're going to level that out and make it into a beautiful little wildflower bed for the bees and leave it. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll look nice while it's shed greenhouse wildflowers. Yeah. And then our lovely. So let's go in shed and see what we've got in there. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we want to say a massive thank you to Victoria. I've decided that's your joint name now. Did you get it? Because Tom's in middle. Victoria. Nice. Tom and Victoria, thank you, my darlings. You are always going to be at the allotment with us now. Um, so there you go. And... It looks like we're going to be having our first brew after all. So, yeah, massive thank you, Tom and Victoria, for this lovely gift. Uh, we're boiling the kettle now to make a brew, and then we'll show you what's we'll sat sitting with the brew, because it's a very important part of having an allotment. Your first brew, your first sitting down having a brew, before we start cleaning and stuff. Mm -hmm.
Amazing! The first coffee at the allotment. Oh, oh it's got to be a good brew this year. You know when someone's really going to be a good brew? Yeah. I might risk that milk, me. I know it's been here since last week. Maybe it's a test on how um, shelf stable cocoa is. Can you give it a shake? Yeah. yeah. We'll put it in yours first and then see how it is. Oh, yeah, that looks alright, actually. It's fine. Coco is incredibly shelf stable. We took it to festivals with us. You want some? Yeah. Right, we'll reposition the camera and we'll see you in a minute. It's the first steaming hot brew at the allotment. So uh, I'm going to say cheers to Victoria. Thank you, my darlings. Cheers. And cheers to our allotment, my love. It's so exciting. <sighs> Not bad at all. That's a good allotment brew. Yeah, I'll make the brews in future. <laughs> You're horrible. It's these mugs are massive. Yeah, well... I think we need smaller ones. Either smaller mugs or more coffee. Yeah. But, hey, it's so nice. It's so rude. It's, it's, do you see how it's ruined this moment? <sighs> you haven't really. I'm, I'm just not. joking. I'm not. Uh, so, yeah. Um, my awesome. Niece, my niece Rachel's on her way down with a gift. And to measure... Um, in fact... Well, let's, we'll let's, show them in a minute. Yeah, we'll show you the, what's going to be the wildflower patch. But, very quick recap on what allotment is. Oh, yes. So some of you, uh, some of our American friends have asked us to explain I'm Canadian. What, what an allotment is uh, here in the UK. And uh, I have mentioned it in a couple of other videos, but none of the allotment ones yet. So it's important to do it in here as well. Yes. Now, somebody mentioned the other day that they actually became a thing after the war uh, in the UK. Yeah. Um, which makes sense. Which was that whole, you know, thing about getting the country growing stuff and, you know, building ourselves back up again. But allotments are big pieces of land, uh, often owned by the local authority, or passed on to a local allotment group by the local authority. Uh, and they're segmented off into bits of, into squares of land, and you can rent them to uh, grow vegetables. I think in America you call them community gardens, which is funny because we're going later on to a community garden centre mm -hmm. uh, to have a look at what plants we can buy and just Could buy them. Yeah, 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 buy the plant plant in. So yeah, allotments are, uh, sometimes they're privately owned, sometimes they're owned by farmers, often they're owned by a local authority or they're passed on to an allotment association by a local authority yeah um and i think that's what happened with this one yes here volunteer run yes um varying prices throughout the country we've got friends who live near northampton they pay about 12 pound a year um but it, it changes all over the country yeah uh, but generally speaking if you can get an allotment in the UK, because sometimes you do have to wait a long time, you do. Um, it's well worth it in terms of um, how much you pay for the across the year. Yeah, you know. So there, that's that's an allotment here in the UK. Um, we've got stuff we're going to crack on with um, and get as much done as we can down here today. Little things which we'll, we'll show you in a minute. Uh, plans for what we're going to do turning um, what was four beds into one bed. Um, and we're going to finish the rest of our brews as well, or maybe not all of it, because then we've got issues with loo and going to the loo for a week. Well, yeah, we need a, a, here's a gross tip for you. Apparently, urine really helps to break your compost down. So many people on allotments who have compost boxes or bins or whatever will pee in a bottle and then pour it in. Um, and we've already got a pee bottle. We have in the car because I don't do long journeys on motorways well. <laughs> Especially because I, I drink too much coffee, that's my problem. I don't think so far we've actually you've ever actually had to use it in the car, have you? It's it's more a, a just in case. Yes, it is. Uh, it's, yeah. uh, but I mean, I would happily. Yeah. I'll lob it out and shove it in there and have a wee. I don't care. As long as I have a wee. And on that bombshell, <laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to show you some stuff. Cheers!
stick your head in say hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's my niece, Rachel. And she just brought us a gift down, which we thought we should open it. Not, we've not looked on the other side yet, but let's... Um, let's do it. Let's have a look. <laughs> right, I've unwrapped it. Ah! Oh, <laughs> that's so awesome. Look! How, how amazing is that? See, we've got screw holes in it ready to go on the shed. <laughs> and she's brought a screwdriver, a and drill, screws. And, screws. and screws! Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that's amazing. That's amazing, Rachel. If we weren't in the times of Covid, I would give you a massive hug. <laughs> Shmarona! But imagine I'm giving you a massive hug. Thank you, my darling. Love it. Do you know who you're really reminding me of at the moment? Denise. Do really? you? Yeah. Rather than Sharon in that weird. Denise and Sharon are my sisters, by the way. And Sharon's her mum. Now it's official and permanent. Oh, brilliant. I need to stand back now and have a look. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Those vegan guys. Right, so. Our Rachel's just give us a quote for the wood we're going to need to turn these four plots here into one long plot. And that's going to be root road, Jason. Taters, beetroots, carrots. I think so. Yeah, root road. And then this little bit over here, that square of mud there, is going to be the wildflower patch. The greenhouse has had a clean and is looking much better. And what? Right, before I was rudely interrupted by the battery and the camera going, uh, we've covered over the barrel um, as best we can. And uh, this one's already covered. Greenhouse, as you can see, is much, much cleaner. We'll probably give it another go over at some point. And uh, uh, yeah, still a lot of work to do, guys. So um, say goodbye to Rachel, whose uh, Facebook page, Rach Bees Woodwork, slash what wall art is uh, linked down there in the description so if you're local in the greater manchester area check her out and uh, we'll see you again well we'll see you in a few minutes actually in you Tra So just because I was curious, we've just discovered uh, the Tibetan kitchen serves hot food and chai tea every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 12 to 4.30, right here outside um, Keen Community Garden Centre. And I've just had a word with Lee, who runs it, and said, hey, have you got anything vegan? He said, yeah, most of it is dal and um, chickpea and spinach and red, uh, more and more dumplings. So have a look at that. Come and have a look at this. Hey, and that's Lee. Hey. So if you do come here, he'll be serving you. <laughs> Vegan food, man. Yay! Cheers, Lee. You're welcome. Always sanitise your hands, people, and wear your mask. Oh, it's that slimy stuff. I love little um, floor inserts like that, little mosaics. One up there too. Fruit, trees and bushes this way. And that's what we've come to have a look at, really. Um, rather than buying them off Amazon. Um, let's go and have a see. Oh, I've never heard of that. It's a 
Gorgy! <laughs> Gorgy man! Your ear is a berry! Gorgy berry, £2.50, that's really good. Blueberry. £9.50. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Blueberries. Damson Shropshire Cream. Oh, they've got bloody all sorts here, like, absolutely all sorts. These berries. Blueberry. 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 Organically grown. This is alright this Jason. Apple cheese. Apple Winston, loads of different varieties of everything. Red currant. Oh. I love red currants. Black currant. So we could get a black currant and a red currant plant for Berry Boulevard. Good. Couldn't we? I don't think we're necessarily buying anything today, but we wanted to just come down and scope the place out. We want to know what we can get, don't we? Yeah, it's going to be a couple more weeks, maybe. We have to be realistic about costs as well because, yeah, you know, it, it's. I don't particularly like buying things off Amazon, um, but if I if something's much cheaper, I probably would do. Is that awful of me? Stand up. Is that awful of me? There we go, that's better. Um, I think we've just got to be realistic with our budget, haven't we? And I'd like to support this garden centre. I'd like to come down maybe next weekend or the weekend after, or end of February. Yeah. And we've got a bit of money. And maybe buy oh. a couple of plants. Plus car. Another garden centre car. Hello. Hello, baby. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? Are you having a week? Hello. Hello, fluffy bum. Hello. My, my, my. You are very beautiful. You are very beautiful. Hey, you. Yes, you are. You buy her again. Bye. Can I go by? Hello. Hello. Oh, no, girl. Sorry. I misgendered you. <laughs> Ever so gorgeous. I love this little short tail. Ah, mm. <laughs> oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous, she's cheeky and she's ever so gorgeous. I'm going to have to wash my hands when I go home because if my baby smells you, she'll get very angry. But you're gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. And you know it. <laughs> Don't you? You know it well. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah, that's an ice special. That's an ice special. And you can have one. Right, should we have a bit more of a look round, Brummers? Now we've made a new friend. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Bye, love. Goodbye, love. Very <laughs> goodbye, love. Good, it was so lovely to meet you. I'm very, very glad I met you. Very, very glad I met you. <laughs> Come on.
Rosmarinus, Rosemary, Colts, Blueberries. Ah, these are starters, offers, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, a light. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, they're only a pound a pot. Luke, peas, kale, green fennel, garlic chives, broad beans, thyme, rockets, maybe all sorts, it's marvellous. Planting onions and garlic. Oh, this is a great place. This is. I'm so pleased that whoever you were recommended it. Thank you. Brilliant. And it is the place we thought it was. It's where we actually came to see the premiere of Dominion. It is just at the back of here. Um, there's like a big old theatre, and that's where we went to see the Manchester premiere of Dominion and met the director. Oh, just one. Oh, oh refill stations. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Laundry and liquid fabric conditioner. Washing up liquid. I wonder if all this is cool to freeze I bet it is. We're in Hume. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice little, uh, nice little place. It's gorgeous. And Never! Oh, see. Look at this all cabbages, sprouts, carrots. There's all sorts onions, butternut squash. Oh, it feels like being at a festival, Jason, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah. Even though it's a garden centre. some of these things in our wildflower patch just because of what it says there we'll add colour and drama to your border die back in winter but grows back bigger every year mm. yeah and wildflowers you know mix in some wildflowers as well yeah this is giving me so much idea so many ideas coming down here today but let's show you a bit more of this place because it's it really is amazing mm -hmm. uh, little cafe and all sorts come i'll do my french man
Oh, and little handmade bird feeder boxes as well. Mm. Ericaceous compost. That's the stuff you use for berries. Ericaceous. Yeah, all remembered that. Hiya. We thought we'd do our closing in the car. We've just come out of Hume uh, Community Garden Centre. Fabulous place, as you've seen. Incredible. Bit gutted we haven't got enough money to get a treat off the yellow van with all these great vegan food. Well, we'll know for next time. Yeah, we'll won't know for we? next. We'll bring enough money down to buy ourselves some lunch. Right now, we're going to go home, have a sandwich and a brew, um, be happy with what we've done today mm -hmm. and of course our gorgeous gift from uh, Rich Beads Woodwork don't forget to check the link down there in the <laughs> description she's got her own Facebook page warmed my heart and actually almost brought a little tear to my eye it did it really did it's lovely it's yeah. just lovely to you know and of course our first coffee courtesy of the fabulous Tom and Victoria for getting us a new cooker Epic. after the one last year last week nearly killed us and burned the shed down Thankfully, it didn't. Uh, so yeah, um, great day. I feel I feel quite achieved. We've cleaned the greenhouse. Yeah, we've, we've got plans. We've got we've ordered the wood to make four plots into one big plot. That's going to be Root Road. Yes, Alan, if you're watching uh, this, uh, we don't ever assume that people watch all of our stuff. Um, but the lovely Alan um, commented and said he could potentially help us out with some scaffolding board. Um, that If that offer is still available, we would love to take you up on that offer. Yeah. Um, so I will find the message um, on YouTube and, uh, and reply to it. I now, think Alan's message is on our Facebook page. Fabulous. So you'll be able to just jump in the conversation. But yeah, it's been a great, uh, for what is a really miserable dreary day yeah it's a bit rainy now um we've had we've got a lot done we, we we're whittling away at it um and as we said right at the start um it's two pronged now it's about getting the seeds and our potatoes ready at home mm -hmm. and continuing to develop the land and get things sorted at the allotment isn't it yeah so i will be uh, i won't necessarily film this because i'm basically going to fill some little seed pots with soil and put the tomato seeds in we're going to have them on our winter still at home aren't we uh for a while a couple of weeks at and, least you know until we've got some little seedlings and then repot them again before they get put in their final pots in our greenhouse down at the allotment plot 25 our allotment adventures i uh, hope you've enjoyed this guys give us a kiss you mm -hmm. uh, i love you I love you i love you thank you so much for watching we'll see you again very soon until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other <coughs> bye loves i need to go on i'm starving <laughs>